Did you notice something about my Tall California movie? Link up there. Did you notice a couple of parentheses in the title? Total California. Almost. You wanna know what that almost meant? Well, then you come to the right place. We're going to be talking just about that today, and not only talk, as they say in show business, show don't tell. So, without any further ado, we're going to go over to me, over at LAX, and see what I thought of that, and then we're going to continue on to San Francisco. This one for 10 seconds, or maybe even less, depending on how I cut it. I had to be dragged through this whole thing, and we're, we're like nine, over 10 hours into this, and we still got around here and there five to six hours left, and easily about eight until we got into our room. Correction, so, Chicago O'Hara. Didn't I say Chicago O'Hara? LAX. L you see, I'm tired, so... I have no idea what the plan is, except we're going to LAX, apparently. See you there. So where do we find myself this time? Well, in a place they actually built to honor the rebuilding of San Francisco after the great fire of, was it 06 or 08? I don't remember. But they built this place and they actually began tearing it down. Sure, you know like the story goes with, a, with the Eiffel Tower, it was built for the uh, a sort of convention from that era. But it wasn't meant to last, it was supposed to be taken down after I think four or five years. But I mean, it's still standing. The same goes for this thing. They built it, and they only meant it to stand for a year or two, maybe. I don't know how long, but maybe a couple of years, I'm guessing on that. But they let it be. Although, they began tearing it down, but after a fundraiser, it was back up again. And it's called the Palace of Fine Arts. We're in San Francisco, by the way. Uh, as you may have guessed from the Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz footage. But I found something very funny. Look up here. I'm gonna mark it out for you. See that? This was before the two world wars. That would never have been built otherwise. So now you know. Catch you guys later. So now we know what a completely excruciating time I had getting to America. And also why the swastika is allowed to be on a famous monument. But now for a little fact for all of you who plans to go to very warm places. I've got a few tips for you. And for that we're going over to a very sunny and very warm day in San Francisco. Okay, so... Say you're going to the west coast, or Dubai even for that matter, or any other place that's really, really cooking hot. Let me give you one tip from an expert who's been at 
both Dubai twice, and now the United States here on the West Coast. Stock up on a lot of this. A lot of this. Ice cream. You really need something cool when you're at these places. Man, I'm hot. Oh, this place is cooking. So now when we know to always carry ice cream, let's go to a place where we really need it. Baker, California. The gateway to Death Valley. We are so going to need an ice pack here. Strap in folks, we're going in hot. I hope you didn't get a suntan there. No wait, that's my, that's not Californian, that's Texan accent. Okay, sorry for all you Texans out there, I completely butchered your accent. But I'm not gonna say much more than you will not expect what we're going to see next. I sure didn't, and I'm not gonna spoil anything. Over to me, in the little town called Solvang. Solvang, 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 Sol, Solvang, Sol... Well, what do you know? You never know what you're gonna find up in these parts of California. And that truly goes for this one. A whole Danish town. I mean, just look around. We've got the windmill. We got the architecture. We got basically everything. <clears throat> what more could you ask for? Except for that the Danes say this isn't Danish, but... Well, I have my thoughts on that. I think it looks here, or rather. Uh, I'm not over you. I'm not out. So, I'll let the B roll roll, and I'm gonna go over here. Now you probably didn't expect that, now did you? But here's something else you might not expect. If I say Hoover Dam, what do you say? Maybe power plant, water, big cement structure. But would you say, pour water like this and the thing goes up? I wouldn't and unless you've seen viral videos, you probably won't have either. So let's see if I can pull it off. Can you guess where I am? If you can guess it, we're at Jaeger Hoover Dam, or just known as the Hoover Dam. And we're gonna do a little experiment here today, which I've seen many people do, and I hope it's gonna work today. Now, as you all know, when we pour out water, it goes down. But if you pour it over here, and I feel the wind is coming up, now watch this. Come close with the camera. Oh, okay. Well, that was on epic. Normally, the water should flow up, but it seems that luck wasn't on our side today. Well, what should I do with this water? We can drink it. Let's oh, throw it over the side. Well, let's go on to the next place. Well, that was disappointing, wasn't it? I was really hoping to get the water flowing, but nature isn't always what you wanted to. And apparently, it had to be kind of windy for that to work. So if you're gonna do it, try it. Do it when it's windy. But now I'm going to say something that is going to anger a lot of nature enthusiasts. Nature never disappoints. 
Nature isn't always what you want it to. And I think what we're going to see next is the Yosemite National Park. Don't quote me on that though, I forgot where I filmed this. So after having said that not super controversial comment about nature, I'll see you down in the comment section! That is why my Total California movie was almost the complete picture. But now we have, again, almost the complete picture. I thank you all for watching.